Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Oh, I'm sad to say this is the third and final in the trilogy that I have done with Allie over at Allie M's Beauty, my good friend in real life and on YouTube. And she and I are looking at some of the newer looks in Charlotte Tilbury's iconic looks collection. Uh, down below, I will link our previous videos, both Allie's and mine. We have done the new supermodel iconic look, and we have done the new goddess of glow, queen of glow, excuse me, the new queen of glow look. And today we're gonna look at the rebel. So let me just explain a few things first. The 10 iconic looks from Charlotte Tilbury, none of them are new actually. What they are is for about 220 American dollars, Charlotte will sell you a package of a specific iconic look. And it is a look curated by Charlotte to include uh, eyeshadow and blush, lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, mascara, eyeliner, all that good stuff that you need to make one full look. Um, and I have, in the look today, added on some of her um, Bar of Gold trio, and of course her, um, for her foundation, of course. I mean, of course. Now, the first two looks that Allie and I did were considered the new Charlotte Tilbury iconic looks, Supermodel and Queen of Glow. The reason we're looking at the Rebel is because the Rebel palette has been reimagined. This is the original Rebel, and it had its own iconic look. And if you hop on over to Allie's channel, which I'll link below, you will see her do this original iconic look with the original Rebel palette. And I, today, am doing the reimagined Rebel, which is this palette. This is interesting to Charlotte Tilbury fans. The two palettes, original, reimagined, look nothing like one another. Nothing. Um, and though they are both in the green family, the reimagined that I'm holding here is certainly much more olive or khaki toned. And I'm not certain why it's even in the realm and gets the name, unless maybe they just feel it's a more contemporary look. Although I guarantee you, when you see Allie's look with the uh, classic original Rebel, you will not feel that it needs updating. So I'm, we're not entirely sure what's happening here. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury was sold. Is there kind of a little bit of a, a remix? I mean, she's staying on. Uh, and she'll run the show still. So I, I don't I don't know where this is coming from, but we do currently have the elimination of some of the old iconic looks, the addition of some new ones, and then this, Allie and my third, uh, reimagined versus original. So I'm gonna come back in just a moment with a bare face full of just a foundation, and we are going to do this look that you're looking at right now together to look at the new Rebel reimagined look. Let's do it together and I will be back in a... Okay, let's get started. I'm kind of excited because I have worn all of these elements before, but I have never worn any of them together as the uh, Rebel look as prescribed by Charlotte Tilbury. So this time I'm gonna do it right. Okay, so we have, as you know, the Rebel palette. So I'm gonna take off this bracelet because it is just gonna ching and chang all over the... Ah, there it's gone. Okay, so let's start with a Sonia G Sky Brush. And you know, Charlotte makes it so easy for us, so we're just gonna start and go clockwise with her prime. So the prime shade is a golden, beautiful golden shade, and I'm just kind of sloppily putting this all over. Um, just to let you guys know, uh, as a base, I have the Charlotte Airbrush brush. I can never say that. Airbrush flawless finish foundation. Honestly, there should be like a contest if you could say it 10 times. Um, I have that on. I have just some Giorgio Armani Carts concealer and I did use Charlotte's Bar of Gold, which is not called for in the look, but I just used it anyway, just here on the high points of the cheek and down. I just kind of kept it all Charlotte as much as possible. Okay, so we have that on the base, same brush going in clockwise, and let's add it in. This is so interesting to me 
that she calls this palette the Rebel. Um, I get that it's the Rebel reimagined, but to be frank, you guys, I just don't see that it has any relation to the original Rebel. Um, yes, 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 they're green, but I mean, you guys were talking Charlotte Tilbury, right? Where everything is like a golden coppery brown. These two green palettes are so dissimilar. Um, so I get that she's reimagining, and I get that she is updating in a contemporary modernizing. <laughs> so um, I get that, but I just don't see what, it almost deserved a different name to me. Okay, so there's the second shade. Take a look, see what you guys think. All righty, let's go in, um, let's go under the eye with that second shade, just all the way under. Let's just kind of smoke it up a little bit because it's supposed to be a rebellious look. So that's what we did just there. <laughs> Doing it again in real time on the other eye. Um, princesses, you have seen me do this before. I like these really quick looks. No, I'm not in a rush. Yes, I enjoy doing makeup, but there's no need to do it forever, right? We have lives. Okay, let's go down into the third. And let's just smoke out the corner a little bit with that. We'll run it under the eyes a little bit. I just kind of made it a little bit darker, and you know me, I go in with my hands a lot. Um, oops, that's a little bit darker. That's okay. We'll kind of smudge it out. We'll kind of smudge it out. No worries. Go under again with this shade. Now, this palette does not have a traditional pop shade. I'm going to go ahead and use it as a pop shade because I've kind of been... I wanted to say trained by Charlotte Tilbury, but I haven't been actually trained by Charlotte Tilbury. I wish. I haven't been actually trained, but I met, I've been, you know, I've watched so many and dealt with so many of her that I just kind of use these kind of fun, glamorous shades in the center of the eye. And I'll do that now too. I'll show you what I'm doing right there as opposed to this eye. And I just want to put it in the middle. I, to be honest with you guys, I think you can kind of use this shade really wherever you please because we're not dealing with that emollient kind of um, shimmering pop shade anymore. But it still gives a little bit of life, I think, if you'll agree, to the center of the eye. You know me, I'm going to do mascara and eyeliner off camera and then we'll come back and do blush and lipstick and kind of finish off the reimagined rebel look. Be back in a jiffy. And we're back. I have added in the Rock and Coal Eyeliner in Bedroom Black and the Black Full Fat Mascara. Um, I don't normally take a black eyeliner and use it in the bottom waterline as I have today, but I was thinking this look is called The Rebel, right? And what did the rebellious girls in high school do? At my high school, anyway. They sat in the back of the room and they applied coal black mascara to their bottom waterline. I used to watch them do it because at the time I had never dared to stick a pencil. They used to burn the tip too. I didn't do that, but, and they would just go in there and I would think, isn't that dangerous? I would watch them. I was like, you know, 14 years old and I would watch them. So I thought, let's make this look a little more rebellious and let's do high school black eyeliner in the waterline. And of course, lashings and lashings of full fat lashes mascara. Uh, it's interesting. I really like this look because the rest of it really speaks to me in that it's actually very subtle. This calls for first love mascara. So I've got my brush ready. Here is First Love. And if you know me, guys, you'll know it is definitely my First Love because this is a mascara that you can't make a mistake with. And I love me the heavy mascara. I mean, uh, this is a, a blush you can't make a mistake with. And I love heavy blush. And I can just look. I can do whatever. I can talk to you and do this all day. And I'm still not going to look like somebody's Aunt Sally. I just... I mean, if anybody could make this blush too heavy, it would be me. Um, but I can just kind of go and kind of move it in. And just, I just love this. Look, I'm going on the nose. I didn't look. 
I'm not even looking. I can't even make a mistake. I love it. I don't know if it's the shape of my face or what, and I wear blush higher, everything. I just try to avoid that really, a lot of darker blushes. They just don't really suit me. So this first love, I love it. And it still looks like, I mean, I could go heavy handed and it's fine, see? Okay, next up is lipstick and lip liner. The liner used in Charlotte Tilbury's iconic Rebel look is, no surprise, Iconic Nude, which is a camely nude brown liner. A little different from Pillow Talk in that Pillow Talk is a little pinker, and this one is a little bit more on the true nude side. Iconic nude side. Again, just did that real sloppy, and you can kind of see. It's not perfect, but you know. And then we have very Victoria for the lips. You know, it's funny because you think if it were rebellious, we would go with a red lip. But um, I think she's going for kind of a subtle rebellion here because this is not a very deep lipstick, but it's gorgeous. So let's put it on together. Very similar to the liner with a tad bit more pink. What do you think, guys? Woo! We're not quite done yet. Don't go yet. We're going to add in Hall of Fame uh, uh, gloss, lip luster. Can't speak all of a sudden. You know, Charlotte's glosses aren't my favorite, but this is a very pretty kind of all-purpose, just add a shine to the lip look. It's kind of a, I'm getting the kind of the brownish nude all over it, but that's okay. It's kind of a pinky gold, this color. And it did need the shine, didn't it? <laughs> Am I rebellious enough looking? I don't know. Am I a rebellion or rebel reimagined looking? Maybe that I am. So this is the iconic reimagined rebel look. Please check out Allie's channel so you can see the original rebel. She's gonna recreate that for you. Give me a like if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Love all my subscribers coming in. I appreciate you spending this time with me, princesses, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.